Hello and welcome to Cheshire Audio. Now, this is going to be a quick news update. Um, there's a few things going on. Firstly, and it's totally expected, um, we talked about the Riga Plano 1 in Walnut and there was some talk of if this was successful that Riga would actually produce the Plano 2 and the Plano 1 Plus in Walnut as well. It's now on the price list, so yeah, they are. They've they've often done really well with it. Weirdly, I haven't sold any. I didn't. I sold, although saying that, the P one has been really quiet. I've been mainly doing three, six, eights, and the odd ten. But ones and twos, I've hardly sold any over the past few months. It's gone strange how it goes in phases like that. So yeah, um, plenty of two. I mean, the plenty of one is thirty pounds more uh, because obviously the, it's, a, it's a more expensive finish. It's more difficult to. Um, sort of do it within the price. Uh, Planer 2 is a bit more leeway, so it's, th there's no price increase with the Planer 2. So the 2 is now available in black, white, red, and walnut, all at the same price. So that, that's quite good, actually. Um, what else is going on? In the shop, I've just bought in, apart from the Darlies, I've also bought in Minimo 2s from Ophidian, uh, which are tiny and really, really good. I, I did so well with the original uh, Minimos. Um, when the Mark IIs came out, it was just at the beginning, beginning of COVID, so it's taken me a while to actually get around to actually putting a, putting a set back on demonstration, really. At the same time, I've actually also had, where are they? I forgot where I put them there. Oh yeah, Mojos. And nice light, light oak. Brilliant, really like the Mojos. So I think they'll do well. Um, I've actually probably got too many speakers at that sort of price range now, I and mean, it's sort of around the sort of 12, 1300 pound little stand mounts. I've got Loads of them now. So, but anyway, um, <laughs> always always wanted to have another pair of the Mo well, pair of Mojo twos in. To be honest, because I've, I've I've been without those for a while. Um, what else is going on? What else is going on? I was going to talk about. Oh, um, I've actually got uh, quite a few bits of of trading and second hand stuff at the moment. I've got a planer one, a couple of hundred pounds, and I've got a very early, well, not very early, but reasonably early planer three. But it's been I've I've totally refurbed it. But it's. Uh, about a year ago, new cartridge, new belts, uh, new components on the board internally. Um, really good condition that. You, it, it doesn't, it's like probably an 85, 86 ish model. You can't really tell looking at it. It's, um, I mean, it doesn't look new, but it doesn't, doesn't look 30 odd years old anyway. Uh, so that's available. No boxes with those. So if, you, if, you look at, if, if you're interested in those, you need to collect from the shop really. Uh, and I've also still got, <laughs> um, for some reason, these aren't selling. The, um, Monitor Audio Silver Hundreds. Um, these are the old model now. These are six Gs, seven Gs come out. So I'm just moving these on really. All the other Monitor Audios have gone. Weirdly, this was the most successful model. I'd, I'd sold way more of these than anything else. And it's the one that's not sold. So they're available. Uh, might be a little bit flexible on price if you're, uh, if you're interested. But uh, again, I've, well, I've got the boxes, but I'd rather they were sort of collected from the shop really. Um, oh, and also, I've also got, which aren't here, they're upstairs in the demo room at the moment. I've also got uh, a pair of Riga RX-5s in Cherry, Cherry uh, for sale as well. So if you're interested in a pair of those, um, I do have boxes, but collect from the shop. Uh, give me a call if you want to find out how much they are and things. Um, other than that, this is very haphazard. I'm, I'm completely making this up as I go along, because I hadn't really thought about it when I press play. Record even, press record. Um, website, I've done quite a bit to the website, so I'll, I'll show you what I've done because there's some, I should have done this, done this earlier, it seems I do all these videos, I should really have um, done this before. The website, I've, I've done quite a few changes to, uh, or well, firstly I've got, uh, if you go into speakers, all the Dali stuff's on there, God, the, the internet here is so slow, it's got all the all the different models are on here that I well that I do. I've not I've not put everything on, but obviously I can get any get all of it really. Um, but the, yeah, the main thing I was going to show was if you go to Riga Spares. I mean, obviously I showed this the other the other day. Got all the service kits for if you want to service your own Riga. But I've also put on because people keep asking how to do these things. I've put on all the um, the videos that relate to servicing. So it's just they're all together in an easy, easy to find sort of place, uh, and also, also on some some of these, I should say, put some sort of product uh, videos as well, which I'll probably expand that a little bit really. So I've got you know the Riga System One videos. Uh, what else have I got? I think Riga Turntables. I think there's a a video for that somewhere. Where are we? Probably further down. 
Should have pushed it at the top, that would have been much better. Where are we? Mm -hmm. ah, videos. Yeah, so a lot of Riga reviews, there's all the comparisons of the 1, 2, 3, the 6, 8, 10, and then there's comparison between um, 2 and the 6. Oh, sorry, 2, there's 3 and the 6. What's that one? Oh, yeah, comparisons. Oh, and there's full service, uh, full range uh, video as well. So it's just a, just an easier way to find it, really. Um, so I think that's it for the news. I don't think there's, I'm trying to think what else is going on. There's not much in the workshop. Um, it's gone quiet again. We had, we've had three or four months of virtually no sales. It's been really, really quiet. Just enough, enough to keep everything moving, but it's been really quiet because everybody's gone on holiday now and it's, it's easy and there's a lot of tension about really. People don't know what's going on. So, um, understandably it's quiet here at the moment. It was getting busier, it's just this past week or so has been really quiet again, hence I'm getting back into doing videos. Um, yeah, I think that's it really, I don't think there's anything to say. Um, I've got a few bits and bobs on the on the bench there which I probably will be doing something about. That's the old Arcoms, if you remember I did the retro review of the amp, that's the Arcom Alpha CD player as well, which is an original. Might do a retro review on that actually, but it's just all on test at the moment to make sure it's absolutely 100%. Just fixing my demonstrator project turntable. Um, no comments about that, really. And I still haven't done this system deck. There was a guy who kept saying, are you going to do that system deck review? Um, well, I did the review, but I was going to do um, what he was asking about. I was going to do a refurbishment video, and I've just never had a chance. So I could just keep moving it around on the, on the bench. So, yeah, sorry about that. Um, what else do we need to say? Oh, the, yeah, um, Sugden is still... I asked Sugden the other day how long their waiting list is. Still talking about 30 weeks for amplifiers and everything, really, which is, yeah, I think they just, they can't cope with the amount of the demand, I don't think, we're in at the moment. Exposure of four or five weeks. Riga are all up to date. Um, and cartridges, I seem to have pretty much everything at the moment. Actually, cartridges, there doesn't seem to be any problem with cartridges apart from, still can't get the Riga Elite cartridge. It was available, then not available, then available, then not available. And we're still on not available at the moment, so... Anyway, um, have I said everything? Yeah, I think, oh no, I haven't, I haven't, no, I haven't. And there's something else. This is, this is one of the main reasons I was going to, uh, I'll go back to, let me just go back to the website. Uh, well, hey, that way. Uh, where did I put it? I actually had, but one of the things I was going to talk about on, the, on this video was the, the Audite Acoustics bridge, which I did a review of, and um, I, said there's a new version of it coming. Now you can't see that on that picture, can you at all? I'll put, I'll put a picture, I'll put a picture up the top here. Um, I had the new version of the Audat Acoustics isolation platform. Um, the video I did was just the prototype, which was quite a big clunky sort of thing, uh, but the principle of it was the same as the new version. Now the new version, I had with it in the shop for a few hours, somebody borrowed it and it's not come back because they bought it. So. I've got another one coming. As soon as that's here, I'll, I'll probably do another review of the new version, actually, before I lend it to anybody else, because it, it, it works so well. Um, I think I'm going to do really, do really well with that, to be honest. It's one of those products that is just a, it's just an instant fix. It just really lifts the performance of the system. So, yeah, I'm waffling a bit now. So, back into... I don't know. Um, yeah, let's leave it there. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give a subscribe and a like. Um, nothing else. That's it. No, that's everything. So, any second now, I'm going to walk through to the shop and do a review of the Dali Bronze, which I've been promising now for about two months. But so I'm actually going to do that now because it's really quiet today, and I should get a chance to to sort of sort that one out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in a future video.